today we're doing several experiments with solid carbon dioxide, one of the few compounds to sublime. That is, change from a solid to a gas. And it does this at minus 78 degrees. Very, very cold. I can handle it, but not for too long because I'll end up getting frostbite. So I'm going to revert to some nitrile gloves. The first thing we're going to do is demonstrate the sublimation and some of the interesting associated properties. I'm pouring some boiling water into my flask with some food colouring. The food colouring's there to provide a contrast. First and foremost, I'm putting in two handsful of solid CO2. As you can see straight away, big white clouds of water vapour. The water vapour is being formed because the CO2 is much colder than the dew point of water. The second thing we can do is put a glove on. Two handfuls of solids create a lot more gas. One mole of any gas occupies 22.4 litres, and we certainly put more than 44 grams in there. And bang, there it goes. Thirdly, as you can probably see, the water vapour is going down. This is proving that CO2 is denser than air because it's dragging the water vapour down with it. And lastly, the sublimation. You can see that the solid's turning directly into a gas rather than going through the more normal solid liquid gas routine. There's lots and lots of learning outcomes. Big value for money. It's the gas that keeps on giving.